wow, it took a while for that to start uh, recording. Um, but I have a lot of stuff open. Um, I tried to fiddle with the colors and stuff. I wanted to try to get everything right and no matter how good I try, uh, well, black always shows up better anyway than red, but I'm just fooling around with it. I have a really cool routine I'm going to show you from the Professor Di Vernon himself. He lived to be about 98. Um, I want to say, oh, he's born in June. Um, like June 11th of 94, and then he lived, lived to like, uh, 1999, and he was big at the Magic Castle, which as you know, that's a invitation-only black tie type place, and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the top magicians are members there, and there's uh, celebrities who are uh, magicians. Neil Patrick Harris is one of them. He's on the advisory board, actually. I've never been there. I'd love to go. But anyway, uh, he would go there, and people would um, study from him. Uh, you know, he was one of the top sleight-of-hand artist uh, of the last century. And you've heard me talk about another fellow, Ed Marlowe, the Cardition. Uh, he is the other top sleight of hand artist, though he specialized mostly in cards. Uh, so did Di Vernon, but he, he, he was uh, diversified. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you one of his uh classics and if and please read my descriptions um but uh i don't put a lot of uh i purposely misname uh the tricks that i do uh just because there's so many tutorials especially on um your right hand side of the screen you know, if it has a name. But this is a trick called Triumph. And uh, I really hope you like it. I've done a couple of Triumph type effects for you. Um, it's rare that I go into bars, and, and that's, in all honesty, I've never been a bar club person. But I was in this one bar, and uh, I was doing some magic for some people. You, you know, it was like one of those tricks where the deck gets shuffled up, you know, and obviously it's a regulation deck. Uh, this one is brand new. Usually I open my decks on camera. Um, but I needed the jokers out of this deck for another trick. And anyway, um, people were like taking cards, mixing them up, and so on. And there's this drunk guy. He came up, and his name was Derek. And, you know, I, I knew he could be a little... Um, tough to deal with, and he uh, took a card, and uh, he had a good look at it, and I wasn't paying attention, because I had a couple of drinks myself, and had kind of a mild buzz, and that was the card he took, hopefully you can see that, okay, and uh, He, now, I gave the deck to him, and, you know, of course, he just put it back in the deck like so. And I was like, uh, <clears throat> K 
can you hang on just one minute before you do anything? Um, I want to try to get this girl's phone number. And so on. Um, you know, he cut him a few times and did shuffles and so on. Um, but he did something that really upset me. Derek took one half of the cards. Well, here's a little off, if I remember right. And he turned them upside down. And the other cards, of course, were right side up. And as I was, uh, you know, chatting up this girl, uh, her name was Ashley. He took the cards and he mixed them up, face up into face down. And, you know, and he's like, hey, Ed, if you think you're so smart, uh, see if you can find my card. And I never thought I came across like that. And he, uh, he said, look, you know, there's some cards that are face down, some cards that are face up, and so on. And I spread through the deck, and I'm like, what the heck? You know, I mean, and, 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 and you can see I'll cut these cards. I mean, there's cards face up, face down, and so on. And it was weird. Um... And there are some cards like that, some cards back to back, some face to face, and so on. And, and you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I was kind of a little hot under the collar. But that's when my powers as a magician came into play. I'm like, okay, Derek. You have obviously set me up in this impossible situation. So I'm just going to take my hand and just go like this and give it a snap. And by doing that, check it out. One card, and one card only now is space up. Because you remember Derek shuffled them you know, half were up and half were down, and they were legitimately shuffled, and now they're the same way. No other cards reversed, and it was only his card that was the right side up, and he literally pissed himself. I can see a little... Not that I, 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 I could just tell. I, I smelled it and I kind of looked down and anyway. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed Divernon's Triumph. It's a excellent routine and a great storyline. All right. Um, for all your hypnosis needs, go to www.edini.com. That's E D D. INI.com. Please go there and check out what I have. Thanks. Good seeing you again. God bless.